All right. Hello, everybody. We are live, bold live. Thank you all for um, for your patience. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't be bold live without some technical difficulties, right? Well, I'm your host and supervising producer of The Bold and the Beautiful, Casey Kasperzik, and uh, broadcasting live from sunny Los Angeles. And let me tell you, the current temperature, it's like 88 degrees out there. This is hot. It is very hot. And speaking of hot, did you see today's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful? Finn wants to know who his bio dad is. So is Sheila going to tell Finn the truth or keep it a secret about Jack? Well, spoiler alert. Today's guest, Naomi Matsuda, is here, and she's going to give us an insight of what's going to happen uh, coming up on Bold and Beautiful. And it all happens in three, two, one. All right, we did it. Hello. It's so nice to see Yay. you. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Sorry about sorry about that uh, little, little technical glitch there in the beginning, but we have a loyal group of Bold Life fans who Yay. stick with us and... Uh, They've come to they've come to love our little technical difficulties, right, Mona? I'm sure Mona's out there just saying shaking thanks, her head. Thanks, Mona. Yeah, thanks, Mona. Anyway, Naomi, what are you what have you been up to? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, I'm enjoying this weather. It's like summer again right now. Just going hiking and just taking care of business. That's so cool. So uh, I have to tell you, uh, I have not had a chance to really. Uh, hang out with you or meet you when you've been here because of our COVID protocols. You know, it's very, uh, there's only a certain amount of people that can be on set and, and, and that, that whole thing. And we don't get to have parties as very, as often, but I've always, I've been wanting to tell you, do you follow social media very closely? Because from the first day that you aired on Bold and the Beautiful, you have a huge following of people that love Lee. Wow, I didn't know that, but thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, um, this, thank you guys. Thank you, fans. Mona, thank you. I can see everyone just writing on the Yeah, side. you can see. Really yeah, and you feel free to say hi to them as they chat. We'll, thank we'll, uh, you. we'll thank say you, hi Adam. to all of them. Wow, okay, yes. Thank you, everyone, for showing up today. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, look, I think next week is going to be great. You guys yeah. are going to be really happy for next week. What's going to happen? Well, speaking of next week, yes, people have been wondering, when is Lee coming back? And Lee will be back on Tuesday's episode, and you'll be here for a big stretch of shows. So that's exciting. So people yes. will definitely get that. And uh, if you if you watched today's air show, you saw that, um, you know, Jack is telling Sheila, thank you for not saying anything. But, uh-oh, Finn shows up and says, I'd really, really like to know who my biological dad is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. So, <laughs> another another secret out. that Jack has kept from you. Another secret, yes. So, uh, yes, Jack's been keeping a lot of secrets from me. Mm -hmm. From me, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, now, I just want to back up a little bit and talk about uh, uh, when you were first um, offered the role on The Bull and the Beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. you've, you've done soaps before. Well, I was hired for one day on uh, well, to do um, a character on Days of Our Lives, but that only lasted a day oh, okay. after I went into shoot, and then other things happened. So then I was no longer on the show. Okay. Uh, but I was my name was on their IMDb for a while. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then they recently just took it down. Yeah. So oh, okay. Okay. It took a while for it to take it down. Yeah. Well, then, but, then we are proud to have you on the Bold and the Beautiful. Your, your, thank you so much. I'm so happy, and honored to be here. And we will not be taking that off IMDb because uh, <laughs> because we are a fan of yours, and uh, and and uh, uh, the social you. media are just so so exciting. And when I announced you'd be here, people were very excited to get to meet you and talk to you and get to know a little bit more about you. So okay, that. That, yeah, and that first day you came on um, <laughs> the set. Oh, are you reading the comments? Oh, it's yes, it's hilarious. I hope you and I hope for Lee and Sheila can fight. That would <laughs> for me. You know, I I know you know, and I don't do enough reading the comments. So let's. I don't mind reading the comments. Uh, nice shirt, Casey. Yes, it's very hot here, so I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Sheila and Lee right now. Huh? And yes. I like your Hawaiian. It seems to be all about Sheila and Lee right now. Everybody yeah. wants to know about Sheila and Lee and what's going to happen. 
Well, I really, I think, you know, she was a tough one to take, but I think Lee could take her. I really do. <laughs> oh, now Eric and Lee as a couple. Oh, Ooh. Eric and Lee is a couple. So much potential. There's so much potential for Lee on this show. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But the Lee, she Slap. was. Slaps Sheila silly. Gregory Schultz. Gregory Schultz slaps Sheila silly. Okay. I don't who knows? There, there was a slap. There was already a slap at the wedding. Mm hmm. I, but I don't see Lee as being somebody to slap someone. I think she's. Uh, I don't think she would either. Um, even if she was pushed to, she yeah. just she definitely is more controlled and grounded than that. And I always think. goes high. If, if if you if you slap anybody, I think you slap Jack. But even that, I don't see happening. That I don't, I, I don't think she would do that either. It's it's more of a disap. She, she gets disappointed, I think, more than angry. Mm -hmm. But who knows? We'll see what happens. But she's the type that she's a surgeon. She's very collected. She's she's definitely she holds a lot in. She keeps it, you know. She keeps it pressed down here, you know, for other people's sake. Yeah. And I think she does that for um, for Finn. She, yeah. she just, I think everything is just all about Finn for her. Well, and 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 truth be told, when you you uh, offered the role on The Bold and the Beautiful, uh, there's a very short turnaround time from when you get your script to when you actually ended up on stage in in in, in those uh, wedding scenes. Oh my god! And that is like that's tough being thrown into a scene with you know ten other people. It was an experience. It was like a hurricane, actually, for me. It was like they literally like just throw you in there and you just do it. And I was just li literally just listening, talking to uh, Head King and asking him because he's a veteran, you know, and he's and he's given me, you know, little insights here and there. And then everyone, the whole cast, everyone was so giving and loving and just so generous. And um, and they were they all just made me feel so comfortable. And we all just so worked together and it was so it was really nice but it, it was definitely intimidating at first it was it's just a lot at first yeah. it was definitely i learned so much and i'm still learning and i and definitely you have to, it's on you have to be on for sure mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to know and uh and then you definitely learn um to memorize better faster that's the one thing that i have uh, could never do is all the memorizing and your cues and stuff it's yeah, I had an acting coach that said, if you work on a soap, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. You have the experience. You definitely, because you, you, you learn everything on a soap. You learn with cameras and marks, it's, it's, and it's boom, boom, boom. And you just have to really just be grounded and just do it. You just gotta be that, be that role. Are you from Japan, Naomi? Yes, I am, Donna. <laughs> Now, where, tell, so tell me how you got into acting. Is that something? Well, from, I, yeah. I'm from San Diego. I moved to San Diego when I was five, and I started Japanese traditional dance at six. So I've been on stage since I was little. And uh, I always started dancing uh, jazz, and I danced professionally for a while. And then I moved to L.A. in 94 to dance. And I ended up getting a, an agent uh, for commercials. And then the next thing you know, I, started, I put commercials. And then next thing you know, I moved away from dance and went into acting. And, that's, and that was from the 90s. And I've been here since. OK. So what was your, what was your first professional uh, gig that you My remember? first national commercial was the yeah. Toyota campaign okay, in cool. 90, 1994. Wow. Yeah. Yep, that's when SAG dues were only six hundred dollars. Oh my! <laughs> for the for annually, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and I remember because I and because I had to join SAG to do the commercial. Yeah. So that so yeah that was my very first and then my very first theatrical was X Files. Okay. Yeah, I played a hooker on X Files. Oh, were were you uh, in a scenes with David Duchovny or? Uh, with Gillian. Gillian, yeah. Gillian. Yeah. Gillian, Gillian, yeah. Gillian, Gillian, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, cool. uh, I did do a, a promotion for Californication with David Duchovny. I had a little scene with him in that. That was fun. Well, that, <laughs> was fun. 
I don't. Do you ever? Yeah. Well, if you if you people out there watch X Files, you'll have to go back and watch and look for that episode. Yes. It, yes. Well, an oldie. It's an oldie. And all one of the a classic X File a mm-hmm. classic uh, yeah. episode. Yes. 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 Um, all right. Well. Um, uh, I would like to invite people to go to the phone lines and I'm going to say the, let's open those phone lines up now. Let me show you. Okay. So that is our phone line. Five, seven, three, three, seven, five, nine, two, seven, eight. Go ahead and give us a call. If you have a question you'd like to ask Naomi about the show or about acting. And while we do that, we'll read some more of these little comments. How I'll enjoy Thank you, Brian. Uh, do you ever feel typecast? Hmm. Not anymore, no. Not not really, not anymore. Back in the 90s, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of, there was a lot of stereotype back then for Asians, for sure. Um, I remember Miss Naomi from X-Files. Wow, Jerry, thank you. If anyone calls and asks her what storyline she would want for Lee. Well... Well, you what could ask Ansel, Ronald. Oh I don't know. That's so could go anywhere with that. It, yeah, it's just so many different ways. I, it's just, just thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. This is it's so nice of all of you to, to be writing all these things. Thank you. Oh, Mona, Mona wants to ask if the writers care about fan comments. And of course, yes. Yes, we do. I mean, that's just basically we're, we're, we're you know, in the in the old in the, in the old days, uh, we would get lots of fan mail um, mailed to the show, but now it's, it's Twitter, Facebook. You know, uh, there's a lot of places for comments, so um, we are keeping an eye on all of that for sure. Thank you, Kelona. Ke, wait, Keloha, Keloha. I just want to see Lee back on. I'll I'll be on all that ne- all next week. There you go. Uh, Kenneth would I'll like to know next. how was it like working with Ted King? With Ted, he's amazing. He's great. He's a total. He's just. He's an actor. He's 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 so strong. You know, he's so strong. And when I watch him prepare, and um, I learned so much from him working with him for sure. Uh I'm just sometimes I have to look at my computer because I can't read all the comments on my phone. So I look over oh at my, my computer. So funny. There, I mean, we, the, yeah. there's a lot of comments. A lot of people are chatting and I love that. And, you know, if I can't read them all now, I'll go back at the end of the show and I can rewatch it and um, uh, read them all again. Uh, yeah. You, you and Ted just kind of really clicked as uh, Jack and Lee uh, parents of Finn. That was uh, that was really cool. Um, I have an I have a question. Do you, are you aware of. Uh, where the your name your character's name came from? No, no. So Brad you? Bell, you know the executive producer, head writer. Uh, his mother is named Lee Philip Bell. She passed away in February of 2020. But you are named in honor of uh, his mother, Lee Philip Bell. So there you go. That's pretty Thank cool. You. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. major. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Gabby, so, I always like to give the tidbits on where how people got their names. Um, anyway, so anyway, I am going to let's go to the phone lines. We've got lots of people calling in. See who we got there? Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, uh, to New York. I'm sorry. What was your name? Hi, hi, uh, Susie and Naomi. Uh, hi. Uh, I just want to say. What a great addition it is to have you on the show. I really am enjoying you and Jack or Ted King's uh, characters. Thank you so much. Um, my question is basically how, how do you think Lee is going to react when the truth does finally come out? About how do I think uh, Lee's going to react? Um, yeah. I think. Uh, she, if she, whatever she finds out, I'm, sh- it's, it's going to be shocking for sure. And hurtful, probably. It's a soap opera. <laughs> I think it's going to be, it's going to pop. Yeah. She might be, um, she, she'll feel definitely feel hurt. I'm sure. Betrayed. 
as well, anyone and I would. Think, yeah, and I, I mean, think most, uh, most importantly, though, I think more than herself, I would assume you would feel for Finn, you know, your son, like this being him being betrayed, you know. I think she would. I think Lee would only first and foremost think of him first. Like I said earlier, I think yeah. she's all she, she is all about Finn and protecting him, and she did raise him, and she's she uh, is protective of him, I believe. So um, I, I think she would put her feelings aside. Absolutely. Well, and, thank you, you know, for calling. Yeah, I'm going to get go to the next caller here on the. Our phone lines. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Casey? Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca from San Clemente. Welcome back. How are you? How say, are you? Say hi to Naomi. All right. So hot today. So hi. hot. I'm, At least you're down hi, by Naomi. the... Hi, Naomi. How are you? Hi, Naomi. Very well, thanks. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? How are you? Very you're well, very thanks. pretty. I'm Thank you. Um, have you ever done any um, movies or Broadway? Uh, no Broadway movies, yes. I just did a movie in Arkansas that will be coming out. And then um, I, another movie will be coming out next year, um, Bullet Train. Mm. I'll be on that one. I was in another movie, Hazardous Duty, that will be coming out next year as well. Oh, cool. Okay. Very cool. I know you can't answer this, but do you, I know you can't, you guys can't answer this, but um, I'm wondering if your character is going to find out that, um, that Finn is your husband's real mother or not, I mean, real father. Son, you, sorry. It, well, we can't, we can't, we can't uh, <laughs> reveal what happens in the story. We can just say that uh, Naomi will be on the show for all next week. Cool. So there you go. Well, Rebecca, cool. you have a great Thank weekend. You. you take care, Casey. See you. Talk to you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's Rebecca. She's called in every uh, episode. So wow. yeah, I, 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 she's like almost. She's almost like a co-host at this point. Uh oh! Please turn your computer down. Oh, there you go. Well, Rebecca, you have a great weekend. Hey, we listen. Hi. Hey, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, this is Lisa from Michigan. Hey, Lisa, say hi, hi to Naomi. Lisa. Hi, Naomi. How are you doing? Very well, Lisa. Hi, how are you doing? I just only, I just have one question. You should be on contract because uh, we, um, we love your character so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where in Michigan are you? St. Clair Shores. Okay. St. Clair Shores. Okay, very cool. And is, are you, is it, uh, Mona says no weather talk, but how's the weather? Uh, it's like 50 degrees. It's not bad. Okay. Well, do you have any questions about acting or what it takes to put on a, on a soap opera? No. No, I just told her okay. that she needs to be on a contract because we because love her. All right. Well, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, uh, thank you Lisa. Thank you. All right. As, are you sure Lisa's not your know. agent? Okay, thank you. She may have been. I, I think she <laughs> might have been your agent calling. All right. That's <laughs> funny. There's a lot of <laughs> Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, um, uh, um, this is uh, Antonio. Uh, uh, Antonio, uh, South Dakota. Antonio. Yeah, I know Antonio. Yep. South Dakota. Yep, you got it. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Say hi. Hi, uh, hi, Naomi. Hi. How are you? Uh, hi. Uh, uh, I'm good. And uh, um, 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 I love your character um, um, that you play on uh, uh, on the Bon Beautiful. And uh, 
Um, I think I seen you before, Ron, because uh, uh, I grew up watching you when I was little uh, um, on uh, on the X Files. Oh, wow! Thanks, Antonio. Yeah. Well, that's and, awesome. And uh, um, uh, I have a question uh, about um, um, about acting. Uh, um, I got become a soap opera on your show, The Bow and Beautiful, um, when I become a famous celebrity, um, when I win American Idol and, and stuff. And uh, uh, my question for you, uh, um, Naomi, is uh, um, uh, if you could give me some advice on, on what it takes on becoming a, a soap opera actor. Mm. Mm. Um. I think just uh, believe in yourself. Just believe in yourself and know that you're enough. Because I mean, you are. It's a, it's a, that, that is as simple as it is. You know, is uh, whenever you, you know, have doubt, just keep believing in yourself. That is very good advice. Well, Antonio, thank you for calling. We're going to move on. Our next, uh, you, quite a few callers down the line. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? All right, well, sometimes people get nervous. It happens. I mean, this is Bold Live. This is a very popular YouTube show. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Another nervous person. Wow. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to hang up there. Let's read some of these comments. If you got a comment, we'll read some of these things. I hope when Lee finds out the truth, she really lays into Jack. Well, that's what they want to see. Yeah, they want they. I remember people were very concerned about Lee after all this wedding fallout happened. They were. I remember seeing comments. Has anyone checked on Lee? Like, because we hadn't seen you. The wedding happened, and then you you went away. But uh, it was it was pretty yeah, pretty we, fun. Yeah, we. I guess. Yes, after the wedding, we went away. Mm-hmm. We went away, yeah. Yes, I went away and I'm back. Now she's back. Be back Hi. Next week. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hi, yes, how are you both doing? I'm from New York, and uh, this question is for Naomi. And I just wanted and to know, how was your uh, first table read? And uh, what was, like... Uh, I know you were given such a short time to go to the wedding scene, like it was uh, you just popped on the show unannounced. Like, what was what did the you know the bold and the beautiful writers tell you about your background and uh, what you would be working with? Like, and how did you motivate and improvise? Because your character development is, you know, it's learn as you go. You know, so how do you you know, you know what I'm trying to say? How do you Act for emotions that aren't arrived yet. You know, you know. If that uh, makes sense. Was it, we didn't have a table read. Um, okay. I was offered the role and given my lines, multiple lines for the for the, for the day, <laughs> yeah, the line. my first day. And uh, actually, I got it for the whole week, and then so we're just pages and pages and pages and pages. So yeah, uh, just reading through what I received, uh, the sides, that's when I started doing my homework for my character that was offered to me. Yes. So that's when I started doing my bio on her and uh, started working on her. That's how I, that's how I did it. Yeah. 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 It makes sense. Well, I I just wanted to ask that question and. Yeah. No, I was going to say, I wish we did table reads. Um, we just because of our mm-hmm. our condensed shooting schedule and time mm-hmm. constraints, we're we're not able to do that. But in the beginning of Bold and Beautiful, they would spend an hour or two reading the script, have a lunch break, and then mm-hmm. go shoot the show. Um, that was back when they had the luxury of time. But now, no, really, it's like uh, this is your call time. This is when you do hair and makeup. Maybe you have time yeah. to run lines with your castmates. Uh, now you need to be on yeah. set and really. 
it's like go time. <laughs> it is go time. It's like it's a diff- yeah, it's a different world today. Time is money, stuck, and you have yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. well, uh, I hope you last on the show, Naomi, and uh, definitely you. would like you to get in some some shenanigans with Sheila. And you never know, maybe you could be, if you're heartbroken by, uh, you could be thrown in with Deacon. You never know an odd pairing that might be. You oh, never okay. know. <laughs> I love it. Wow. How it's like, I you know, that's earlier. like an unlikely kindred spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a- well, very good. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for calling. Have okay. Well, weekend. have a great holiday. Have a great holiday season, you guys. Take care, Naomi. Oh, thank Be you. well. Thank you. All right. Well, let's take a few more callers here. Hello. Welcome to Bold Live. Hi, Casey. It's Lisa from Ohio and Lisa from Soap Buzz. First of all, your show should be a podcast. And hi, Naomi. Um, hi. this storyline hit, hi, this, this storyline hits home for me because I'm adopted. Um, have you ever done an adoption storyline before? I found my biological grandmother and mother, which didn't go so well, that's another story, through prison records. So how does it feel to do an adoption storyline? Oh, well, it's new for me, but I believe how I took on this character for myself, um, having an adopted son was just uh, really going by the fact that love is love, whether he's adopted or she's adopted or not, the love is love. Um, it's the same amount of love. That yes, ma'am, I found out the hard way. Yeah, I'm yes, sorry. Yes, ma'am, I found out the hard way when not. my uh, biological mom told me off. Oh <laughs> it was not pretty, but yes, ma'am, you're doing a fantastic job, and, and I hope she smacks Jack for for showing the baby to Sheila. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. All Bye, right. guys. All right. Please call call anytime. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, that. That's, um, you know, that's the one thing we, that why I love doing the show is because sometimes you think in these storylines, it's just, we're just doing entertainment. But a a lot of the times, and it hats off to Brad Bell and our writers, they really connect with something that our viewers connect with. So something like that, you know, it sort of is cathartic for them to see other people going through it. Yes, I I feel there's a responsibility for us to to you know when we do perform and when we do take on these characters to um, to really you know do it justice for sure for those people that can relate and for the messages that we are portraying out to them, um, whether it's compassion or understanding or any of that. So mm-hmm. um, everything is for everything, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Hopefully, they don't relate to. Uh their mother sleeping with their daughter's husband though. Hopefully that that's a difference. That's a different situation. That's the other storyline going on. Wow. Yeah. Brooke, okay. Brooke slept with her daughter's husband, slept with Bridget, her daughter's husband, Deacon and had hope. That's where hope came from. So yeah, oh you know, it happens. It happens. Um, okay. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yep. So up as it happens. So mm-hmm. hi, sure. okay, we're gonna we have time for two more callers. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm, my name is Joey, and I'm calling from Terre Haute, Indiana. Hey, Joey, say hi to Naomi. Hey, hey Naomi, how you doing? Hi, Joey, I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's hard to get through on this phone. I've been I've been watching your show, your stream every week and um, try to call but I can never get through hmm. so um I've been watching the bold and beautiful since um, the year 2000 oh, wow. so I've been watching it a long time thank uh, you I, I was gonna um you're you're welcome uh, I always enjoy the show and um I, I always watch the replays on YouTube every day because I work during the day and um Congratulations on being on the show. 
And what what do you enjoy most about being on the show since you've been on? Uh, just actually being to do the scenes and doing just being on yeah. the set and stay just doing it and it's so much fun, so much fun. Yeah, well, what do you like what do you do when? What do you do when you're not on, when you're timed, like, one day you're not, you don't have, you, you're not on the set, like, you guys have different schedules through the week when you're on there? Mm-hmm. Yes, we all have different schedules. Okay. Styles. What do you, Joey, what yeah. do you do? What do you okay, do? Okay, well. What do you do for a living? I work, I work in retail. All right. I oh, work in good. Rural King. That rural, rural king. Real king. So, yeah, rural king. Okay. What What do you sell? I'm a I'm a stock I I stock the shelves, you know, oh, the okay. dry groceries and the pet food and everything. All right. Well, very cool. Well, we appreciate you being uh, such a loyal fan of the show, and I'm glad you got through. Yeah, me too. Thank you. You guys have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. All right. This is going to be our last caller. Uh, Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling Hi. from? Hi. Hi. Um, it's me again. Oh, uh, Antonio. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. You got you called back. Um, I got cut off while I was asking um, my question. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I think we answered it. And you can always go back and watch it uh, if you get cut off. But go ahead. Okay. Um, um, and uh, I just want to finish off my question uh, um, and have her um, uh, give me some uh, uh, advice again because I misheard her and, and I just want her to give me that advice again. Oh, advice again to to be to an be, actor. Well, to, to be to, an actor. To believe in yourself. To believe in yourself and to know that you're enough. That was my advice. Okay. What do you think of that, okay. Antonio? Uh, 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 I think it's pretty good and uh, um, and pretty special. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, best of luck to you. Um. Yeah, um, uh, and I love you, Naomi and Casey. Thank you. Oh, we really appreciate that. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you, Antonio. We'll talk to you next time. Okay, yeah. And uh, um, do you know how I can keep in touch with uh, uh, um, uh, Naomi and, and, and the other soap opera actors? Well, yeah, you can. Uh, I'm going to have our admin put in the comments uh, an email address. You just e email that, and we'll give you more information. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, what I like to do uh, on the show, and it's a good way to end the show, is I like to do what is called fan roll call. And uh, so all the people that are on here, I encourage you, just in the comment, put your name. OK, and then for like 30 seconds, I'm going to ask Naomi if she'll just say hi to all the fans because they love to have the fan shout out. Right. Like nobody, everyone loves to hear their name. So um, we call this our fan roll call. And it's uh, it's an original feature of the Bold Live. So as soon as the names start popping up, uh, which we're, they'll come up in like uh, five seconds, then there we go. We'll say start saying hi to everybody. There's Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Rona. Hi, so Soap Goddess F. FS, Carlin, um, Tanya, Greg, Kenny, hi, Ginger, hi, Ginger, hi, Kenny, hi, Lacey, Christy, Duwan, uh, Rizwan, hello, Kenny, hello, Donna, hello, Lo Susan, hello, oh, my God, Johnny, uh, they're going too fast. I know. That's Johnny, uh, Joking from Sweden, hello, Penny, hello, Rachel, hello, Lisa, hello, Tommy, hello, Rebecca, hello, Jeremy, thank you, hello, uh, Belly G's, Melissa, hello, Ronald from Trinidad, thank you, hello, uh, Candace, hello, Melissa, Adam. Aya from Sweden, hello, um, 
uh, Betty, hello. Doreen. Doreen, hello. hello. Doreen. Ronald, uh, Antonio, Marco, Kyle. And time. All right. Perfect. We did it. That's so funny. Did I say? I couldn't say all of we them. We can't sorry. say that every. And some people put their name in there twice. I see a couple of people's names. Anyway, Naomi, thank you so much for um, thank you so much. working through our technical issues. We did it. It worked out. You're thank amazing. You. I, I'm you. so glad to meet you. I look forward to seeing you back here at the studio. Um, Thanks. And Thanks, Casey. Hopefully, I think we're going to be having a, uh, a bold and beautiful holiday party. So hopefully, okay. you can. I'll see you at I'll the holiday party. I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Have a great Casey. weekend. Thank Me you. too. Thank, thank you. you so much. Bye. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Hey, that just, I mean, that was really, she's a great energy. I really, I really enjoyed hanging out with her and meeting her. And, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad you stuck with us because I was a little worried there about um, the technical issues. Whew. So now it's just you and me. How's it going? Yeah, I'll chat with you now, Ronald. Sure. Um, I want to get, kind of give you some uh, notes. Um, on November 19th on Discovery Plus, uh, which I think is a streaming service, uh, John McCook and his daughter Molly McCook are going to be in a Christmas movie called Candy Coated Christmas. So that's November 19th. And those of you that are on the East Coast um, in uh, uh, maybe New York City area, uh, Allie Mills, our lovable Pam, uh, she's on uh, off Broadway uh, in a play called Mornings at Seven. So uh, if you want to see Allie Mills on stage, go see her in Mornings at Seven uh, off Broadway in New York, and she'll be in that play till January 9th. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and Allie Mills is reteamed with Dan Loria, who was her co-star on Wonder Years. The mom and dad on Wonder Years are in a play together off Broadway. How cool is that? So I'm going to be going to that. I don't know when, um, because next week here at Bold and Beautiful, we are shooting our Christmas episodes uh, and also our New Year's Eve Christmas. So, so, so we're, it's, it's the holidays here. We the hol Christmas came or is coming early here at the Bold and the Beautiful because we're shooting our holiday episodes next week. Um, so that's some update. Casey, can you have some support staff? I would really like that. I would really like that. Her, oh, oh, have them on the show. Yes, yes. Uh, this week was a dark week, so it was hard to set that up. But I am going to have some of our crew on the show so you can meet the people behind the scenes at The Bold and The Beautiful. So I, I'm, we're going to do that. Uh, trust me, we're going to make that happen. Um, let's see. <laughs> can they bring Sheila's daughter, Diana and Mary? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Uh Yes, she was. Oh, she was Jeremy. She was wonderful as Kevin's mom on the Wonder Years. Allie Mills. Yes. Please put Lee and Jack in the opening. When will you add Taylor? Well, we will be adding um, uh, Krista Allen, the, our new Hunter, or <laughs> the recast of Hunter Tylo, uh, our new Taylor in the opening very, very soon. Uh Oh, Rana, you're, you're going to see Allie Mills in New York. Okay, well, that's news to me. Rana is my mother, so I don't know how. Okay, that'll be fun, Mom. I, I'd love to come. Uh, Marco, will it be a happy Christmas or a sad one? Well, it's the bold and beautiful. There, I don't think we've ever had a sad Christmas. There's always been sort of like a some sort of Christmas miracle of sorts. So I don't know. We'll see. See what's what's going to happen. Uh, did I see the Big Brother winner uh, do a few walk-ons last week? Oh, that's uh, Joe. Yeah, that 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 would be my dad. So I have my mom and my dad both watching the show. Well, that's very nice. I appreciate it. Yes, we did have the winner of Big Brother uh, X. He was on the show last or Monday of this week. Um, can Antonio? Can you send me your phone number? I cannot. Uh, but you can email us at boldlive at bbmail.tv. And we can give you information how to contact us here at the show. Ronald, do writers take what fans want into consideration? Well, you know, that is always an interesting question because it's a give and take, right? I'm a fan of the show too. And you want to 
you want your characters to get together. But then once they're together, is it that interesting? So maybe by keeping them apart, we're giving you what they want. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very fine line. Michael, yes, Eric's pa piano will be, we're tuning that on Monday. So Eric will be behind the keys. It's, how, you can't, it's not a Forrester Christmas without Eric playing the piano. Um, Rachel, well, oh, your birthday's two days after Christmas. Okay, so you're a Cap Capricorn. I'm January 4th. So we are in that sweet spot where we get nothing for Christmas because our birthdays are very close to it, right? Or vice versa. We get nothing for our birthday because we got it at Christmas. Though I'm very happy. I, my mom and dad are watching. You know, I was, I was, was yeah, anyway. Um, Ronald, yes, we will have Krista on the show uh, once uh, she has premiered. Uh, it probably be, might, might be the last show of the, of the season with Krista, for sure. Um, any bold life in European primetime anytime soon? You know, we need to, David, Greg, if you're watching, he's our admin. We need to figure out how to do a special bold live internationally. We need to look into that. Um, when is Jackie coming on again? On bold live? I hope soon. I hope soon. Um, oh, speaking of which, um, to so I wrote this down. Oh, my goodness. Let me see where I put it. But there's something on the talk. Um they're gonna they're gonna have the winners of the Soap Hub Awards on the talk. Um, so if you go to Soap Hub, uh, I was gonna I was gonna plug this. Let me see this where this is. But if you go to Soap Hub, they're gonna be on the talk. Oh gosh, where was that? Is that on Daytime Confidential? They announced it. I don't know. But let me see. Maybe Soap Hub. I saw it posted. Or you know what? Follow Michael Maloney. That oh here it is. Uh, da, da, da. I, they don't have, where's the date? Oh, November 19th. Be sure to watch the talk. November 19th. You've got to watch the talk. It's going to be really good. I can't tell you who's going to be on, but um, uh, I think it's going to be really fun. So be sure to tune into that. Okay. I still can't forgive the talk for taking Azerwell time slot. Azerwell turns out was a great show. I, 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 I loved Oakdale. Can we get Susan Flannery even though she's no longer a cast member? Well, I say I'll have to pull some strings, but wouldn't that be a, so amazing if we got Susan Flannery? That would be amazing. Oh, wait, I need a, uh, a Facebook page. Can you start a Facebook page so you can interact with fans? Well, me, you want me to have a personal Facebook page? Mm, okay, well, you can reach out to me on Instagram or on um, on uh, Twitter. I'll read your DMs. This is where you can this is where you can contact me. I'm on Instagram at Casey Cass or Twitter Casey Kasperzik. Um, just DM me, and I'll I'll DM you back. I love to interact with the fans. Um, yes, fans do come up with excellent storylines. Just ask my mother. She always comes up with storylines. Oh, I don't like so and so with so and so. I this is and then she, then she'll tell me what she thinks happens. And then sometimes I'll tell her no, that's not what's going to happen. And then she says, "Well, you don't know." Oh, I don't know. Okay, I guess I don't. Um, let's see. Oh, Melissa, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Is that your like your favorite song or? Were you replying to somebody? Is that what you want Eric to play? I love Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. That is one of my favorite Christmas songs. Um, oh, I, can we have Brad Bell on? Well, that would be interesting. Mm, maybe. I like that idea. Hey, so, okay. So here's what, here's what I'm going to do. This is my Christmas gift to all of you. So when we get into December, we shut down the show for uh, the holiday hiatus. And that also means, so our last Bold Live is going to be December 17th. The sh so I'm going to work, and then the next Friday is Christmas Eve, then New Year's Eve, then our first week back. So then I won't be back till the 14th. But what I want to do is create a special Bold Live 
where I am going to put all these songs, uh, musical montages together and sort of give you behind the scenes on uh, behind the music, if you will. Uh, for those of you who may or may not know, um, I am a supervising producer, but I'm also a songwriter. And uh, I have co-written uh, about 40 songs for the show. Um, and from that, we've won three Emmys for original songs. So I'm really excited to kind of share all these. Some of these songs are on YouTube. Okay, some of them are on YouTube, uh, but not all of them. But I'm going to pull them all that we have. You know, we're talking about, I see a lot of comments are standing with you. People people want to see that song. Or, um, you know, I've got uh, the Hands of Time, which is, that was my very first song that I wrote for the show for Hope and Liam. But I'm going to tell you all about how I go about uh, writing those songs. And it's just so great that I hear that feedback from people that, like, they, they love the moment. So I'm really excited to share kind of, like, how it all works. And my idea is I'll make the show where I come in and out and talk about the music and play it. And then you could play that at home while you're decorating the tree or uh, wrapping gifts. It sort of be like Casey's holiday gift to all of you. So I'm excited about um, uh, putting that together. Well, I'm enjoying this. I, you know, this is what I call, and there's still 90 of you watching. Thank you. Um, this is what I call the after show. And I think I'm going to do this more and more is just kind of have an after show where I can read your comments and talk to you directly. Um, oh, thanks, Mona. <clears throat> and Soap Goddess, thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, look, writing music, it's very cathartic uh, for me. I, I, I'm not a writer, but writing music, uh, it was really interesting. And I'll tell you about the process. I'll save that all for that later. We don't talk about it now. What does a producer do? What exactly is your job? Well, if you, Ronald, did you watch last week's episode at the, towards the beginning of last week's episode with Kimberlyn Brown? I played a little video, uh, a two minute video that kind of shows what I do. Can we have Carrie Underwood on here? Sure. Uh, if you have uh, access to her, let's get her on. Ronald, what's your favorite storyline, Casey? Okay, my favorite storyline? That's a good question. Um, well, honestly, my favorite storyline was in 2010 when Stephanie went, uh, followed Daisy down to Skid Row. Uh, not only was that an amazing storyline, but as a producer, putting that together was really, really cool. Uh, my favorite storyline before even working here, um, gosh, I don't know. It, it was the fashion shows. It was always a big deal when you tune in and see the fashion shows. And I'm hoping that we can have some fashion shows back really, really, really soon. Um, let's see. Let's get your parents on the show. Oh, did my mom put you up to that? I'd love, I'd love to have my mom. My mom's actually been on The Bold and the Beautiful. Um, she was in a... Uh, we should, <laughs> well, okay, we, we should have my mom on and play all her clips. She was actually... Uh, in a scene with Lee Philip Bell, uh, when Caroline had a charity fashion show, and um, she was actually a, a participant in the uh, when Brooke and Deacon went to an AA meeting, she was in that in the AA meeting. Um, was there ever a time where you wanted to have a career? I can't. Let me see. Oh, in music full in music full. Oops, music full time. No, no, I. Well, I can't sing, um, and I really can't play music, but I can write lyrics, which is kind of cool. Um, can you be a writer on the show if you wanted? Um, I'm happy being a producer. I like I love being a producer. Uh, Barbados was a great storyline. Yes, that was great with Brooke and the Dolls. Oh, that's probably my favorite one, actually, now that I think about. Oh, okay, so my favorite scene of all time my favorite scene of all time before I started working here is when the show filmed in uh, Portofino, Italy and Thorne thought he saw Macy and he ended up chasing her through the streets of Portofino up to a, a lighthouse. And then uh, Macy ran up to the top of the lighthouse and, but he didn't know who this woman was. And he said, I'm sorry for bothering you. You just look like somebody I was, I loved. And then Thorne walks away and then Macy comes out and yells, Thorne. 
Oh God, that was like, that was my, that's my favorite moment of all time. When you, we used to have that moment here in the office on the wall. Um, but we recently redid it and we took it down, but I should put that photo in my office. Cause that is one of my favorite. Do you guys remember that episode in Portofino when Macy was alive? I still, I wish Macy is still alive. We don't, I don't know. Taylor, Taylor and Prince Omar. Yes, that was great too. Mm -hmm. That was, that was great. Um, my, oh God, Lacey, that's funny. <laughs> my mom was in AA and I was in jail. That's true. And my brother played a uh, sheriff. So there you go. Um, and my brother has also been a bartender. It's a, it's a family affair. Oh, and, uh, but, uh, let's see. I do think Sheila didn't look bother. Uh-huh. Yeah. A little bit. Have you been with B&B &B since the beginning? No, no. But, uh, I'm, uh, I joined Bold and Beautiful in 2001 as an intern. And then a few years later, I was hired to work at the front desk. So I've been here over 18. Well, if you count my internship, 20 years, but I've been working here 18 years. Um, doesn't seem possible. It's so, you know, what's crazy about that too is uh, the only two cast members that have remained when I started here is Catherine Kelly Lang and John McCook. But when you look at the cast, it's um, all, it's all been new people since then. So, but, but John McCook and Catherine Kelly Lang, and they are, oh gosh, they are some, two of the greatest people on earth. They are so, so sweet. And I know a lot of you probably met them at fan events, um, but they are amazing. J Taxi Joe, I liked Betty White dying scene at the beach. That was an amazing episode too, uh, with Allie Mills and Susan Flannery and Betty White. And uh, that whole storyline about dying with dignity was really, really cool. Well, the Hope Doll, Will the Hope doll return? Um, I don't know. I think that got packed up and put away in Forrester storage somewhere. I think they keep that away because they don't want Thomas to get into it. So they do it for him. Uh, church bell song they play for Steam. I love it. Um, oh, I think that song I did not write. I think I know which one you're talking about. That is a good song, too. That song, actually, I think it's called... Um, well... There's a song on the show that we had, and I don't know the name of it. Uh, gosh, what is that? What is that uh, singer's name? Uh, this is horrible. I'll bring it up in the music episode. Save that for the music episode. That's what I'll do. Um, Jackie Maroney. I know. I love Leslie Ann Down. Jackie Maroney was awesome. She's she could do anything. She could she could read the phone book, and I would be impressed she was an amazing actress and a great lady she's really really cool um hope doll was scary well i mean when it came to it was scary in thomas's mind that's sure that was for sure what about brooke's son with nick maroney um yeah well i mean okay so I don't know if those of you who live in Los Angeles, there was actually a, uh, a news story. This is really, really, you know, just unbelievable. But a, a woman was, you know, a, did IVF and implanted with a different person's egg. And she gave birth to another person's baby. And the other mother gave per birth to her baby. I mean, it was strangely similar to the whole Bridget uh, storyline where Taylor gave birth to uh, Brooke's child. That was a great scene when Taylor found out. Yes. Um, I love when Usher was on in the Amber and Rick days. I know. Can you believe that Usher was on the bold and the beautiful? That is so like, so cool. And I think David, did we put those episodes on uh YouTube, the Usher episodes. I think we wanted to put a compilation episode on YouTube so you could see um, when Usher was on the show. Will they ever bring the runway opening theme? Bring back the runway opening theme? Is that is that the one we had um, before this current one? Is that what you're talking about? Um, I don't know if we'll ever bring that back. I think we're going to stick with this open for a while. 
Um, well, I, Ronald, I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy really talking to you. My dad wants me to tell the story about the cake fight rehearsal. Oh, I'll, maybe I'll tell that later. But basically, I, I, we did a test run with the cake fight that Taylor and Brooke had. And I had Hunter put, you know, pick up the cake and put it in my face because I knew the icing wasn't going to do what it needed to do. Sure enough, it, it didn't stick to my face. Even Hunter tried to rub it in. It didn't work. So we put a lot of frosting on it so that there was a lot of fun there. Um, all right. Well, there's 95 of you still watching. And I I, I, I appreciate a night now almost 99. This is great. Um, I would love to just to have some of you guys. If you guys want to be on here and talk to me one on one, you know, email us. David, put the uh, email address back up there. Email us and we will reach out to you and we will have you be a guest on the show. We'd love to talk and interact with you. And please subscribe. Sub you know, if, if I'm sure if you're watching this, you're a subscriber, but tell your friends, have them subscribe. We haven't put the Usher's episode up yet. Well, I know, but I have a compilation, David, that I could put up there. That's what I want to put up there. I wish to see all Brooke's children together, all Eric's children. I know I'd like to see all of Brooke and Eric's children. Like Bridget and Rick, um, RJ, Hope. Let's see. Oh, there's more questions. Um, Diane, we can stay here forever. Well, I know. I could stay here forever, too. Uh, I would, I, yes, I, I do, I do, a soap guy 27, you'd be great working with music artists. I do, um, I do think so. Maybe, maybe someday I, I that's why I love working at the bowl and the beautiful because I can touch on a little bit of everything. And there's this really cool thing that's coming up like a, a character does. And, um, it's very prop heavy. And today I just figured out how to make this prop work. Um, so I should probably document that and then make that part of this, uh, segment. Cause that'll be fun. All right. Well, everybody, I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you all have a, a safe and, uh, you know, fun weekend, whatever it is you're out there doing. Um, and I look forward to being back here next week. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure who our guests will be yet, but, you know, follow me. And until then, be bold, be beautiful. Uh-oh, we, we're having technical difficulties. See, even with my closing, how, how, how could that happen? We're going to have to try that again. Can you alternate B&B &B and y &R on Fridays? Unfortunately, I don't work for Young and the Restless. But this is Being Bold, Be Beautiful, and be back next week as we welcome a new guest. Who will it be? I don't know. But follow us on Bold Insider or follow me on Twitter, and you'll find out. So that's it? That's it, Katie. I'm sorry. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Naomi.